So the other day I was doing some research and I happened to come upon this Wikipedia page called Human Rights in the Soviet Union. There are a lot of articles for Wikipedia when it comes to the Soviet Union. Of course, sometimes they are all right or pretty good, but usually they range from poor to terrible. And this is maybe the best example of how dishonest Wikipedia can be when it comes to the Soviet Union. Remarkably, if you look up Soviet Union human rights on Google, or basically any combination of those words, this page is the very first result. So anyone researching human rights in the Soviet Union is going to see this page, and most people who tend to think Wikipedia is a good source are probably going to click on it. So I figured it would be worthwhile going through some of the article's problems to show just how bad Wikipedia can be when it comes to giving reliable information especially, of course, when it comes to socialism. The first problem with the article is that there's really no discernment in terms of human rights between the Lenin period or the Stalin period or the post-Stalin period of the USSR, which is obviously a very important thing to miss because many things changed in these different periods of the USSR. Other than for a brief mention of perestroika, there's no sense of chronology, no idea of advances and setbacks, almost nothing. But worse yet, as several other Wikipedians point out in the talk section of the page, is that throughout the article almost not a single positive thing is mentioned. Not the fact that the USSR gave more rights to women than any other country in history at the time. No mention of the Korintsatsiya policy which promoted and supported the USSR's dozens or, or hundreds of nationalities in numerous ways. No mention of the fact that there was genuine worker democracy, especially through the Stakhovanovite movement. No mention of how people were basically guaranteed a job, guaranteed housing, and guaranteed education, including upper education, along with healthcare, even if those last two things were not really universally prevalent in rural areas until around the 60s, but still. All of these omissions would be acceptable, of course, if the article was titled Violations of Human Rights in the USSR. But no, it is titled Human Rights in the USSR. The article for Human Rights in the US for example, includes both positive and negative aspects of human rights. You don't have to necessarily include arguments as to why certain human rights might have been restricted, though I think you should also do that, but at the very least if Wikipedia considers itself remotely reliable, it should follow remotely consistent standards when it comes to articles that are in theory should be very similar in their format. It's not like there isn't plenty of citations you could use pointing out the positive aspects of human rights in the Soviet Union either. There's plenty of serious academic work that examines human rights in the USSR in a far more generous manner, if not outright positively in a lot of ways, like Robert Thurston's work on worker democracy, or Terry Martin and Francine Hirsch's work on minority policies, or Samantha Lom's work on the Stalin Constitution. There's also primary source observations by people who live there that could also be used, like Pat Sloan's Soviet Democracy, Impressions of Soviet Russia and the Revolutionary World by John Dewey, and The Soviet Union Through the Eyes of an American by Mike Devdo, and many, many more. This isn't even to mention that all the sources that are being used are not just your typical anti-communist historians, but some of the most comically over-the-top anti-communist historians of all time including Richard Pipes, Robert Conquest, Ann Applebaum, and Oleg Klevniuk. And those are just the names I recognize. Of course, best of all, the article even cites the Black Book of Communism. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The only source in the bibliography that I know of that isn't super anti-Soviet, that of Albert Szymanski's work, is actually listed in the bibliography, but it's not cited anywhere within the actual Wikipedia article. <laughs> I think someone just put it there to make it seem like the bibliography is balanced. Either that or whatever was put in there relating to that book was deleted from the page but not from the bibliography. Apparently, many years ago there were attempts to make the article more balanced, but these would usually be reversed or deleted. The main culprit of a lot of these edits being made was apparently someone named Biofis. Biofist later changed their name to My Very Best Wishes and can also be found editing other Wikipedia talk pages relating to human rights in the Soviet Union as well. Actually, most of what I checked from this small list he was involved in in some way, repeatedly citing the likes of Robert Conquest, who famously said things like, 
On political matters, basically the best source is rumor, but who is apparently still considered a historian worthy enough for Wikipedia. One of the things people point out to defend Wikipedia is they'll, they'll say, well, if a Wikipedia article has issues, the moderators will point out the issues at the top of the page or other places in the article, but no issues are listed anywhere in the article. The fact that strangers like Biofist can just go in and completely vandalize a page like this and there be no notification at the top of how vandalized the page is it's very disturbing, especially given the high regard many people hold Wikipedia to. The human rights in the US page, which is definitely less terrible than this page, is still being called out for issues. Yet a complete hit piece on the Soviet Union? Nah, no issues, everything's great here. What's more bizarre than anything is that there's a USSR Wikipedia group that seems well organized and meant to deal with issues like this. It just seems like for whatever reason, this page you'd think would be important fell through the cracks. In the end, this page really just serves as more than anything the epitome of why Wikipedia is not just something to always or really ever be taken at face value, and this is especially true when it comes to socialism and socialist states. Anyways, that's about all I had to say. Thanks for watching. Consider supporting the channel by subscribing and also following me on Twitter and on Twitch. And I've also opened a Ko-Fi if you want to support me financially, it's in the description, as is everything else.